been to Home Depot to our kitchen thing, and I will explain more to you later, but this is where we're at. We're at our local neighborhood sports bar called 5281. There's honey. Tell us about your sandwich, honey. <laughs> <laughs> a Reuben with extra meat. I am having a salmon salad with a baked potato. And we're having lunch. Alright, see you guys later. And baby doll just did a shot. I just had a shot. They brought shots around. <laughs> I'm in our master bedroom. I don't know how many of you remember ever seeing it, but it was like a creamy color. This is now more like an eggshell and we had some staining up on the ceiling from um, an issue called when your house sweats so anyway honey got all the room painted and then we had decided to do some wall paneling I'm showing them the wall paneling look at that is that not phenomenal it looks like real wood and it's wood paneling. So we talked about like putting a chair rail here, like 36 inches um, total of more of this. And then we also decided to do that. Anyway, he's gonna put a piece right there and it'll go all the way across. And then we're going to put a big shelf with some really cool farmhousey corbels and then that area up there will put artwork decor whatever but in case you're wondering no the wood is not going to go all the way up the shelf will be the defining line and then um that'll be display we'll probably put like vintage window or two up there you know it's gonna be really cool and there's our Shiba girl. Here's our Rizzo girl. Say hi, everybody. You need the haircut, Rizzo. Here, I know, you want to be on camera too. <laughs> All right, more to come on the room change. Nothing changed out there yet, but we're going to know a lot more tomorrow and we'll be able to fill you in. I will fill you in on our trip to Home Depot here in a bit. Run to Home Depot. I'm washing the bed linens. He's got that piece up. Started running out of daylight. We got to make a Home Depot run because those outlet covers are not going to work. But you kind of kind of get an idea how it's going to go. Now, these... We're going to have to figure out what to do with these because obviously, as you can see, they don't match. And we're thinking more than likely they'll probably have to be painted. Do you think? Potentially, yeah. Um, I have a product that's called Old and Gray, but these are sealed, right? Yeah, but the, the good thing about it is is that if, if you feel of it, it doesn't look like that there was enough sealer into it. Yeah. So I think it's going to take a paint. Okay, well, the old and gray is like a wash. So we could even just try it on a little spot and see how it goes. Well, I've got that other window I pulled out that's got the same Oh, yeah, picture. there you go. Because the old and gray is, is kind of like this. That's the look of it. So, yeah, let's try it on that tomorrow. We'll show everybody. And check out our new ceiling fan. Hold on, honey. That's what's going up. We've got some cool shelving. And, yeah, let's go. Let's go to Home Depot. And, and this this room actually is the best looking room in the, in the house right now. And it doesn't look so hot at this moment, but it will. when he puts the tree back and, you know, I get the bed linens done, actually it doesn't look too bad in here. Okay, off so we go. What I'll probably do uh, oh. when we get home from Home Depot, I'll probably get your tree back, and, but before that I'm going to put your window covering on this. You are? Yeah, and so we can seal that side of it and then just move on so that you work complete. To that point until we start getting into the trim work and that kind of stuff. Okay.
Yeah, here's our corbels for the shelves. These are the corbels we used at the mall when we had, um, you know, the space at the mall. So we're just going to use these and put some shelving here, here, and here. It's going right to be a, a shadow box. It's going to kind of be kind of like a deep offset to what we're already seeing with the wood. Yeah, he's, he's going to cut a piece of this and insert it in there. And well, then, and we've got trim work that's yeah that, that's already done yeah you know so all right cool beans Pretty all right plug and play on that one and then we're gonna stop and get dinner woohoo hacienda yep see you guys later bye okay guys this is how it gets done and look at the supervisor oh supervisor put her head down she's taking a nap <laughs> her tired. We had to go get this um, Instagram type of glue stuff because that wall is cement. And it is cement. Why? Tell them why it's cement, honey. Well, it's because it was a, uh, a hot room and they used the concrete to hold heat. And at that point, you have no ability to screw into it was a hot room because this house used to be solar and right. it's no longer solar all right i'm gonna go get that scratch um polish furniture polish and i'm gonna go do that footboard of that bed i think that's a good idea are the ones that are yeah. Be sure they like it. Not habitat for humanity. And we got our estimate, or we got our check from um, Liberty Mutual for our kitchen. And it came in quite a bit less than what, what Home Depot is saying it would cost to replace. So Honey goes, go to Habitat for Humanity and see what you can find. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I am here checking this out. See if I can find some awesome cabinets. So we'll see. Oh. That actually looks like what we got. So, honey's on its way down. We're going to look at it together. Guys, that wall's done now. And it looks so cool. I love it. He just has a little bit more over there. And then he's going to finish over here. And then he'll do this tomorrow. You want to put up window covering? Yeah, we're going to put up curtains and hang two things that I bought at Hobby Lobby today. And shadow box maybe tomorrow. We'll maybe tomorrow. Happens. Okay. This cute little bench I went and picked up today for 50 bucks. It's got room for storage, which I love. It's super cutesy farmhouse. I'll hang a throw over it to have a couple pillows on it. This is for our bedroom, and it's phenomenal. More details on what we're doing here. You guys are going to love it. The man is back. <laughs> he was outside doing stuff. Now he's back. And we're getting ready to hang curtains. Oh my gosh, I am so thrilled. New ceiling fan is coming. And food. We need some food. Yeah, we're going to have some. I think Chinese tonight would be really, really good. Chinese. We've been getting to eat whatever we want. We need sour chicken, maybe some teriyaki, definitely egg rolls. Um, 
Do you like wontons? Oh, wontons. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trigger anybody now. <laughs> Triggered your taste buds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, no, don't pay attention to that. We need Giants to win so that the, Cow so that the Eagles have no chance at the NFC East. <laughs> so that the Cowboys can take this thing to the bowl. All right, we'll be back. It's Tuesday morning, and I should have already stopped filming for this particular vlog, but we had so much to get done yesterday that I didn't have a lot of time for filming. So we got all the curtains up in the bedroom. That's awesome. More stuff's happening in there today, so I can't wait to do a full reveal, but it'll be a while because we've got some stuff that we want to do in there that... Um, will take a while to get things ordered. So the final, final, uh, we'll show you bits and pieces, but the final reveal of the whole room will come in a separate video. Um, so I wanted to tell you what happened with the insurance adjuster yesterday. So we were under the impression that they would pay for all the cabinets, uppers and lowers. What we discovered was they're going to pay for all the lowers, but not the uppers. So Honey was like, yeah, but they're not going to match. And he goes, we're going to pay for custom cabinetry, a custom builder, to match your cabinets. And they will be matched. And if they are not, you send us a picture. And if they're not matching, we will pay to replace all of them. So they're pretty confident they're going to, somebody's going to be able to match them. So, that was a lot less money than we were expecting to get. It's still a substantial amount of money, let me tell you, but not as much as we were expecting. So, we're having to rethink how, what direction we want to go because most of the lowers are still good. There were only two that were damaged with the water. Um, and those two, when they came out, they kind of fell apart and they would have to be fixed. So what we're thinking at this point is that we are going to um, have the cabinet builder just build the two that are, are damaged and bring in the others um, and reuse them. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint the cabinets. And we're going to paint them in a, an eggshell slash tiny bit of cream. It's going to be the lightest cream possible. Um, I don't really want cream. But honey really doesn't want white. So we're trying to compromise in that department. Um, I had picked out this very beautiful cabinet that I wanted. And now we can't afford that. So last night, Savannah sent me a picture on Facebook. And, or she tagged me in a picture on Facebook. And I was like, oh man, those cabinets are way out of our price range. And she messaged me back and I was shocked. She said, mom, read what it says. It's a repurposed hutch built into the wall and used as cabinets. Not just like a piece of furniture set there, but like installed as a cabinet. So the bottom, they put countertop on it, and the upper, they separated it so that there's, you know, room in between, and mounted them on the wall like cabinet. I was like blown away. So I got really excited. I started looking at hutches on Marketplace, and um, I found one extremely similar to the one she showed me. And I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, I've been messaging them. I even gave them my phone number. I am hoping they still have it. And that they will sell it to me. <laughs> um, to us. If not, there are other hutches av available. Boy, when, when you see it, you're just going to be like, oh. <gasps> 
I sent sent it to my my BFF in Texas. She's a pretty hard person to impress, and she was like, "Oh, I love it." So I love it too, and Honey loves it too. So he told me he's like, "That's what you want to do. I'll make it happen." So super stoked, um, and I'm going to show you in just a minute. So that's what the plan is, um, Honey, and. I'm sorry, I'm looking for Ugh. Honey and the the guy who built our house, the neighbor, are going to do most of the work. Since Honey is off from work right now, he goes for his big interview on Friday. And um, if that doesn't pan out, he's got some other things going on. Um, but in the meantime, while he's not working, this is his job. <laughs> and he's going to finish up the bedroom by this weekend so that that frees him up to start moving on to house stuff. My understanding is the floors have to be done first before the cabinets. Not exactly sure how that works. Because you'd think you'd want to put the cabinets in first first you can bring the flooring right up to it but I, who am I I don't know but anyway that's what's going on uh, I wanted to tell you guys I have some cards that are still available on eBay I've sold most of them but these are still available so um, check out my um, my eBay I will try to remember to put the link in the description box um, I have a card lady who just bought this entire box of cards so I am I just was putting them all in each in their own wrapper like this and now I need to stack them but I wanted to tell you guys um, what happened yesterday with the adjuster and because we're going to save money um, with honey uh, doing a lot of the work and even with the neighbor doing a lot of the work, because he charges less than, you know, a contractor does. But he built this house, so he's fully capable of doing it. Um, and doing it properly. So, um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, we'll be able to, I was going to say pocket some money, but it really won't be pocketing the money. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take it and utilize it to make the kitchen even better, like new appliances. Um, I love black appliances. I do not like stainless steel at all. I don't care if you gave it to me. I don't like stainless steel. Um, so, uh, we need a new stove and a new dishwasher. Honey really wants to put the, the range top in the island. Yes, we're gonna get an island. Um, and then the oven in a separate deal. But anyway, we'll see how that all comes together. And we will definitely keep you guys posted on that. Because that's really all we're going to have to talk about for a while. Um, I'm going to leave to go to Texas again. And I have one more day off before Christmas. One. Just one next Sunday and then I work straight through so I gotta get this packaged up I wanted to come and give you the final what's going on and we'll see you guys later thanks for watching see you next week bye